This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. It sure is great being here helping you with playing the guitar. This is lesson 30 in this mini course on basic chords and strumming. So in the first several lessons, we worked on all the basic chords, learned those. Also worked on the fundamentals of strumming with some pretty classic strumming patterns that get used for 4-4 time and 3-4 time. We also learned about bar chords, worked on some of those, take a lot of strength, and power chords. Worked on some other strumming patterns and techniques that we like to use from time to time. And now in these last few lessons in this mini course, I'm introducing you to chords that we sometimes run into. So in the last lesson, I introduced C add 9. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about slash chords, particularly G over B. We're going to continue to play C add 9, so I have it here on the board just to review that. the G chord that I introduced in the last lesson. I also have that here on the board because it's different than the one that I used in the first several lessons. Sort of the fundamental, basic, one that only uses three fingers. This one uses four fingers. So you're going to have index, middle, ring, and pinky. Index on that second fret of the fifth string, middle finger on that second fret of the third string, or sixth string, sorry, ring finger on that third fret of the second string, and then pinky of the top string. So index, middle, ring, and pinky uses all four fingers, which is really easy when going to C add nine because all we have to do is move index and middle. So for C add nine, we don't play the low sixth string. Index goes at the second fret of the fourth string. Middle goes at the third fret of the fifth string. Ring goes at the third fret of the second string. Pinky goes at the third fret of the top string. And then we have that open third string. So C add nine, just like that. So you want to review those two. I'm also going to use D, but D is such a familiar one, I don't have it on the board. G over B, though, what are slash chords? Slash chords are so named because there's a slash in between two parts. On the left side is the actual chord that we're playing, so G. And then on the right is a replacement in the bass note. The bass note of the chord, or the lowest note of the, the chord, should match the name of the chord. So if it's a G chord, it should be a G. If it's a C add 9 or a C, it should be a C. If it's a D, it should be a D. If it's an E minor, it should be an E. If it's an F7, it should be an F. So slash chords, we alter that. And in this case, we have a B note as the lowest note of the chord instead of a G. And these types of chords show up. We see other types as well. And if you want to know about other ones, you can check out the Quick Answer video series. In that series, there are some videos that go into other ones like D over F sharp, some of the other common ones that we run into that also go into greater detail on the theory. And of course, there are the books, the method books. So the Chords and Harmony books 1 and 2 goes over all the chords that we cover in this mini course in much greater detail. And there's video lessons that go with that book. There's also the full on Guitar 101 course, which goes into greater detail. So if you want more than you're going to get in this lesson, then you can check out one of those things. But G over B. So we're going to have G over B. All we're going to do is not play this low sixth string. We have our index finger there for G or for the B note of this G chord. So we're not going to play the low sixth string. That one's no longer played. Now with G over B, it tends to most often be played two different ways. One is to just play the inside four strings and then not play the top string at all. And then the other one is to play the top string with our pinky there. So index finger is going to go second fret, fifth string. Ring finger is going to go third fret, second string. And we can just play the inside four strings for a G over B. I usually want that one, but sometimes I like to catch that top string, and then we can play G over B like so. So it just kind of depends if you want to mute it or not. I'm going to mute it as we play through here. I've got a chord progression for us to work on with these chords. Start working on this G over B. We're going to use down, down, up, up, down, up. So just a strumming pattern that's really comfortable as we work on this new chord. The chord progression, we're going to have C at 9 to the G over B. We're going to go back to C add 9 to the G over B. We're going to have C add 9, then D, and then we're going to finish off with full on G twice. We'll use that down, down, up, up, down, up. I'll start out by playing each one of these. 
twice. So two times with the strumming pattern, so as if it was two measures long. And then we'll do it as written with just one. So you're gonna have one, two, ready, and we got C at nine. play it as written just one time per chord one two ready and we got C at nine That's a great progression to work on that with. That one shows up from time to time and there are others. But that wraps us up for this lesson. So in the next lesson, the new chords that we're going to learn about in the next lesson are augmented. So we're going to do a couple lessons that will be augmented in lesson 31 and lesson 32 will be diminished. We run into augmented and diminished chords from time to time. So I'll go over those a little bit. Hope you're having fun with the guitar. If you want more help, you can check out the other materials I've got, the quick answer videos that go into greater detail on these types of chords, and then of course the method book and the different video lessons that go with those method books. Take care. We'll see you again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.